Seconds out has the hero of the Georgian nation with us. Lewis, 12 months ago, you, the North East was on tenterhooks when you were going to fight Lu, uh, Francesco Patera for the European title. It didn't quite go your way that night. What's going to be different about this year? The difference this year, it is going to be all night and it is going to go our way. So we're more than me and the team's more than confident that we're going to, we're going to get the win Saturday. And uh, we're expecting a tough fight, but we're, we're more than confident. What have the last 12 months been like for Lewis Ritson since that first defeat? Well, you know, at first very hard to bear, but made the decision to go to finals full time and we've been living down Hartlepool for the last 12 months. And I think from the last performance, we're reaping the rewards of that. As people can see in uh, we're just going to build on that. Uh, Neil Fannin's a very different trainer from Dad Davey. How's the difference been? No, there's been a lot of difference. You know, I've done more running for this fight than what I have done the full time I was back back home. So um, we're just we're just ready to show everything that we've been doing in the gym on Saturday. Lewis Ritson's normally a very laid back character, but as Robbie Davies got under your skin during the summer. In the build-up? Nah, look man, you can, you, you can blow me and I'll fall over, do you know what I mean? So, Robbie hasn't, I think Robbie thinks he's getting us a little bit, but he hasn't get, he hasn't getting to me one little bit, you know. I've had to grow up with four sisters, man, dealing with their boyfriends and stuff like that, so uh, it's, I'm hard to get under the skin of, and uh, I'm expecting a, a good, hard fight Saturday night, and I'm looking forward to it. No temptation to knock his block off as soon as the first bell goes. There is, but I think uh, Fano, Fano will make sure that uh, that doesn't happen and I'll keep with the cool and keep the script. You know, last time I didn't and uh, sadly the result didn't go our way, so fully focus on the job and to listen to the main man. Is it hard with 10,000 screaming fans behind you to stick to the game plan and not get carried away? Yeah, of course it is, because you know, we're, we're from the North East, we're fighting men. I like to see people have a fight night to get stuck in and if the knockout comes and they love it don't they so and that was probably half the problem last time I was hitting people and they were they were just falling over so I'm uh, I'm fully focused on sticking to the plan and, and that's what that's what we're gonna do. When you were running through the division of lightweight all your opponents came and they bought you what are you expecting from Robbie Davies? I'm expecting Robbie to be on the back foot, I'm expecting him to try and spoil and there's going to be a point where I think Robbie's going to have to come and have a fight so hopefully that's sooner or later and for me but um, we'll see he's a box of tricks isn't he, he can box, he can, he can, he can, he can spoil not too bad on the inside so he's going to be very thing so we'll, just, we'll wait and see what he brings and that's what we'll say what we're going to do with that Thanks for talking the seconds out, all the best for Saturday Thank you Royce, for on